Right, so we got 8a minus 7.1 equals 7a plus 3.9, and I want everybody to um, try to take the first step on your own. Uh, my suggestion is you want to get all the a's on one side and all of the numbers on the other. So um, what you want to think in your head is my answer needs to look like this, a equals something. So I need all the A's on one side, the numbers on the other. And I would suggest to you guys, try to get the A's on the left and the numbers on the right. Because students see this question, they go, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. There's actually four things you can do. Um, like, but, but, but as long as you add or subtract to the, the same thing to both sides and just follow the rules and don't, like, just do the same thing to both sides. You'll get the answer in the end. There's actually four different ways of solving this. But I would suggest, guys, see if you can just get rid of that 7a and see what happens, right? So to get rid of 7a, we subtract 7a. So now 8a minus 7a. would be that, right? And 7a minus 7a is just zero, and so we just have this on the right. Okay with that? And now the hard part is done because you're back to something that you understand. I hope by now that like you've just solving for a, and this number is being subtracted, so just go ahead and add that number, and now we have a in its own. And nine and nine is, nine and one is 10, carry the one. One and seven is eight, and three, is 11. So that's 11.0 or a equals just 11, right? And just real quick for anyone watching from home that decided to do it a different way, that's okay. Um, there's lots of ways of doing it. You could have decided to like, you know, subtract 3.9 from both sides. And that would give you 8a minus 11 equals 7a. And then you can say, okay, now I'm going to like, I don't know, subtract 7a from both sides, which is a, a little bit crazy, but that's okay. Now you get 1a minus 11 equals, don't be afraid to use zero. It equals zero. And now add 11 to both sides, and a equals 11. And I assure you guys, there's lots of ways of solving this, but if you just make sure to add or subtract the same thing to both sides, then it'll all work out in the end.